former Nigeria president, Wari is an idiot, but no be me talk him. No be me talk him. It's coming from a well known, renowned legend from Nigeria, Wale Shoinka, an actor, said Wari is trying to regulate social media, trying to delete, trying to ban Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. And he is an idiot. No be me talk amu again. No be me talk amu. Na wole show in ka. Na he talk <laughs> Well, before we go there, let's discuss about the election. Someone is telling uh, some Someone wrote me, Adam Sling, you are quiet about the election. You are not talking anything about the election. This is how you do. You only talk about the celebrities, celebrities, celebrities. You guys forget how I carry election put for head now when it comes to the general election. I've lost hope when it comes to election, so I cannot come and came myself. Do you know how many times we have all focused on uh, elections severally? So, guys, I've lost hope when it comes to anything that has to do with election. Please, please, please. I saw the atrocity at uh, Kogi State election. Uh, apparently, an officer officer already, already printed out results before the election. Some places were not able to vote. This was the same thing we saw. And yet, our court told us that we were seeing spirits. We, ne we never saw anything. So, we saw in Nemo State, majorly in, in, in Kogi State. So, please, well, uh, why would I want to focus on election? Why now? Why? I want to focus on that kind of an election. No, I don't have time for that at all. There are better things to make us happy. What can you change? We know we still have the obligation so, to keep talking and keep talking and keep contributing our little quarter. Keep talking and say what we can so that when day will come that everything will change. But it's really disheartening. So I don't have anything to say at all concerning that uh, election matter sorry if i wasn't carrying any election news because you know what i do not honestly care i do not honestly care because it gives, it gives me heartache it makes me when whenever i i, I call my maybe I, I'm, I'm i'm scrolling through the uh, uh twitter x i'm uh, i'm uh, i'm scrolling through it whenever i see anything like election nigeria uh recently about kogi immediately i just keep because it makes me angry. It makes me feel disappointed. So I don't want to even see it. Eh? I don't even want to see it at all. Because our elders there, our our big men out there, we do, we are looking up to to do some changes. They are the one causing it, and they are not able speaking against it. So who, who am I? Me, me, I don't get anybody backbone. Who who is just by myself? Anything can happen to me now. It's talking about election, nothing will happen. You guys will even laugh about it. Say, Adam Sling, I don't meet up. I beg you. To hell with the election. I don't give a damn. Now, let's listen to what uh, Walisho Inka have to say about uh, internet. He also said the internet is fested, infested with content lacking intelligences and integrity said about the proliferation of the internet especially by nigerians mm -hmm. why do you feel so strongly about that I, have, I feel strongly i see everything of value being debased values which i grew up with as a child and that includes language by the way use of language appropriate language uh, when i see a space being infested the communication space infested by people of a lower intelligence, integrity, sense of concern, of involvement, than existed in the print media. Because always remember that this internet, is, is nothing novel about it. It's enhancement of something you've always been doing before. It's an enhancement of the print medium. And there is more, a more critical approach to the print medium, the editor sits down, even letters to the editor. 
goes uh, this that particular come through the vetting processes. But now you can have any kind of uh, pig from the from the gutter who simply because he's got a paw and can therefore put that paw in dirt, in filth, and then imprint it on the nearest surface. That is what internet has become. And having known better from childhood, all the way through my development, it's, it's, it, it's abysmal. It's an abysmal stage of one's uh, compelled existence to have to confront things like that. Uh, I don't read, but I, I read things because things are sent to me that link. People will say, you need to see this. You think you've seen the worst, but take a look at this one, this yeah. month. This is what happens yeah. these days. And something drastic has to be done about it. And the publishing enterprise has a role to play in this, a huge role to play in this. Uh, maybe we even have to organize a real week-long, month-long seminar across the African continent. So let the garbage at least come from elsewhere. Why should it be coming from my own society? A society that has produced engineers, doctors, valued all over the world. Go to the Arab world, you see Nigerian doctors everywhere. Go to production places, construction sites. Go to NASA, you will see Nigerians there. And yet some garbage, simply because they have access, you know, are now fouling up the total productivity, the complex and ennobling productivity of my society. It burns me up. And I hope I never meet any of them responsible in a dark alley. And I was showing that I can be younger than the 90 I'm years of I'm sure you can course. always be younger. Professor Wole Shrinka, <laughs> thank you so much for talking <laughs> you, to me. You're here. welcome. So you do strongly believe in the regulation of the internet, do you? Uh, well, you've asked, you see, that's a very, very large question. Well, uh, no. Wole Shrinka spoke the bitter truth, honestly. But at the same time, you uh, wouldn't blame Nigerians because they say charity begins at home. It's what you teach your children, the kind of sense of respect and ability you show them that they will grow up with. Let's be honest. While we were in school, they almost erased our history now. They were teaching us white man stuff. They erase our history to the point that you don't even know. We, you and I, do not even know the political party then. We don't know how it was, how war, so 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 came, and how this. They erase everything. So where is our backbone? Where is our background of communication? And again, okay, our elders, they always teach us respect, 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 respect. But yet again. These are red that do not respect themselves. You see how they disgrace themselves in public places. You see how they steal. You see how they loot. You see how they deceive us. So many of all those things. So now, Nigerian youth, any anybody out there who doesn't even have the sense of uh, like he said, like a like a pig somewhere, a pig must eat now. And if a pig doesn't eat, He's going to check his master and be like, why are you not feeding me? And the pig will be angry and want to bite the master. That's exactly how it is. But the blame also ran down to us because they also say that we must respect regardless. Let's be honest. It's not Nigeria youth's fault. It's not the people who are using social media fault. Do not call them pigs. Because the masters have refused to learn their obligations. So don't. So maybe once you say they should be teaching us on how to use social media, all those things, let it start from the top. Let them be honest with themselves. Let them do the right stuff. You talk about Nigerians in abroad who are doctors, scientists, good and fine. Why are they living here? Because our own leaders are not serious. You go to Saudi Arabia and go to all those places. You see their country, Saudi Arabia, Dubai. You see how the basic amenities respect. You can. It's hard. You see, 
someone tweeting something eh, against Saudi Arabia uh, 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 government or against Dubai government, except if it's about human rights for women and all those things. It, the page doesn't tweet that, oh, there is no light, or there is no education, there is no food. No! Why is it that they, they always bring examples to us that are always in their favor? Why don't you also look at all those leaders as well? I was just showing you can start confronting it in that way. Let's listen to what he said about uh, Buhari. Regulation. Before, um, I would rather discuss, say, theoretically, if you're going to regulate, who regulates it? How does it go about? Does the regulation begin from education, new education? Do we include teaching from the level of primary schools? Because even children now, they speak a language which I don't understand, internet language. Watch them at work there. I'm like an illiterate, and I would never compete with them with that. So maybe we now have to totally revise our educational system to take in this new monster, which, however, is a valuable contribution to human to the entire human enterprise. So when you talk about regulation, I want us to be very careful there. I don't want some dictator like this last one attempted to do wake up and say that I'm banning Facebook. Idiot. You know, you just wake up and say you're banning Facebook. That's nonsense. No, no. Do something constructive, methodical, structured about it, including making the criminals understand that they deserve to be somewhere else. Thank you. Well, he called idiot. I know exactly who he's referring to. And meanwhile, See, it's crazy, man. These leaders should learn. Learn from other leaders. Then we will learn to be respectful. I know one of the worst enemies to any corrupt nation, one of the worst enemies to any uh, greedy leader is communication. Freedom of speech. They don't like how. They don't like it. So I'm going to end my video here. Thank you very much for watching. Support idea. Let's play. Have a wonderful.